Hey Taurus, welcome to Shared Sentience. Thank you guys so much for being here. I really appreciate it. This is going to be your general uh, reading for your next unexpected change. Uh, any information you guys need, you can find it within the description box down below. I do have personals open right now. Uh, I have the email readings for $15 and the recorded video readings for $30. So all that information, you can find it within the description box. Um, I also have probably one link, but maybe two down in the comment section for you guys for your most recent reading if you want to check that out as well. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started here for Taurus and their next unexpected change. What's going on? Ooh, the Temperance card, Sagittarian Energy, okay. Um, so emphasis on the third eye, there's something coming up with that, okay. So this could be third eye activation for some of you guys. Let's go ahead and clarify this, what's going on with it. For others of you, I feel like there's going to be a situation here where uh, balance and harmony is restored. Let's go ahead and look at the temperance card. What's going on with this? Could involve a Sagittarius. You guys have Sagittarius in your chart. The hangman, the justice card. Oh, I got two popping out there when I'm only meant to have three. Okay. Um, so this could involve a Pisces, could involve a Libra. Okay. Um, but I do feel like for a lot of you guys, there's something that has just not been... There's something that's been very quiet, okay? Um, so I feel like for some of you, there's something that you've been working on and it's not really been going anywhere with the hangman. Um, or there's someone here who's just been very quiet. But I feel like if you've been working on something, you're going to start seeing results. For others of you, I feel as if this could be somebody coming in trying to bring you some kind of clarity and make something right with you, okay? You do have the two of swords here. So I see you almost being pretty closed off to this energy, okay? Uh, I do feel like it's a genuine offer for a new beginning. But let's go ahead and look here, Taurus. <coughs> What's going on with that Two of Swords for Taurus? The next unexpected change. Nine of Swords. This is something that puts you through a lot of heartbreak or a lot of stress. Okay. Um, for others of you, I feel like this is something that you've been very committed to putting in the work on. So um, I feel like there could be a new offer. But at the same time, you've put so much work into this that you don't really want to back out of it at this point. Okay. Give me the hangman. The hermit. Yeah. This is somebody who's been quiet for a lot of you guys. Uh, this could be a Virgo. Okay. Give me the Justice card, <clears throat> the Strength card, Leo Energy, and the Ace of Wands, the Temperance card. Interesting, because when the Ace of Wands shows up, sometimes that can be a card of a gift. Um, it's a spark, an awakening, and you have the Temperance card clarifying that. And like I said, I feel like there is an emphasis on the Third Eye. You have it kind of emphasized here in the Justice card, too, okay? So... <clears throat> With the strength card being here to clarify the justice card, I feel like whoever is coming forward to communicate with you, it's taken a lot of courage. Uh, they didn't really expect themselves to do this for a lot of you guys, or they just didn't plan on doing it, but they feel like it's something that they have to do. So I feel like this is actually taking a lot out of them to, to do this, to come forward. I see you being pretty closed off to it, though. I feel like this is going to happen in the summer months, okay? Um, now, with that Ace of Wands to the Temperance card being here, let's go ahead and look at that. I want to look at that a little bit more. Ace of Wands to the Temperance card. The Nine of Pentacles, the Hair Font, and the Judgment card. Like I said, activation and awakening. And I feel like this is only going to come with a specific decision, okay? Uh, if that makes sense. So the Judgment card to me can sometimes be something karmic. And the Temperance card showing up as well. I feel like this is something karmic that you're going to be closing out. Especially since you have two Nines here. And Sagittarius is the ninth sign of the Zodiac. And you've got two Temperance cards out here. Um, I feel like this could be someone in your physical environment. Or who's come into your physical environment. Um, but with the Nine of Pentacles being here. I feel like this is, you know, this is a card of being single, independent, stable, comfortable. So I feel like there's something here where somebody's triggering an awakening within you. That's allowing you to be comfortable in your own skin here Taurus in your power with the hair font showing up okay and the judgment card like I said this is going to be this is going to come with some kind of decision you make to close yourself off to someone that you were really invested in in the past at one point in time major past life energy here with the six of cups okay what else do we have going on here for Taurus and their next unexpected change the five of wands yeah this is something that you've carried with you for a while you guys yeah, for a while. 
Um, if it's not been a year, it's been very, if it's not been over a year, it's been very close to a year, okay? That's how I feel for a lot of you guys, 10 months maybe, okay? But we have the um, year and a half, okay? The five of wands, I feel like there is a lot of conflict though. You've, you've struggled a lot with this. This is something that you've carried with you for a long time. Um, and I feel as if, you know, maybe you made an offer to this person in the past or you shared your emotions and you were kind of shut out, okay? So that's how that feels to me a little bit. Um, this person's hesitant to step into that water there on the night of cups. So yeah, I feel as if you're hesitant to share any emotion now. It's possible that maybe you just feel very drained with when it comes to this person. You don't have anything left to give to them. You don't feel safe giving to them. You don't trust them, okay? So I think that that's something that you're going to be realizing here, Taurus. And again, I don't really feel like you expect this. I feel like this is a fire sign for some of you guys or a Capricorn, okay? Um, I'm feeling those energies feel pretty strongly. Let's go ahead and keep looking at this. What else is going on with this? Like I said, for a lot of you guys, I feel like this is going to happen in the summer months. Um, some of you guys, you could be in another commitment by this point in time. You have the will of fortune, though, so there is a big shift in your energy when it comes to this person, okay? Um, wow. Yeah, because, again, I don't feel like you feel safe giving to this person. You don't feel safe opening up to them again because it puts you through so much stress. And I think that for a lot of you, you don't even realize that, you know, this is something that you're going to get over, that this is a reaction that you're going to have, okay? Um, and, you know, maybe that's because you don't see this new commitment coming because for some of you guys, there is a new commitment a new commitment coming. For others of you, I feel like this is a new perspective, okay? Uh, you're seeing things through a different, um, I want to say gate, okay? So I'm not sure there. I feel like there's something that you're trying to step into a new path you're trying to step onto okay uh some of you could have venus in aries or venus in aquarius with this card okay but the five of swords is saying that you're growing and developing and then we have the eight of swords here as well which is jupiter in gemini so yeah i feel like this is something that you've been stuck on for quite a while here let's go ahead and keep looking at this What else is going on with this here for Taurus? Seven of Pentacles, yeah. I think this is pretty tough to let go of. You have the Three of Swords right here, Eight of Swords, yeah. I feel like you invested a lot in this. Like I said, I feel like this is someone that you were involved with for a long time or someone you were really on and off with for a long time, maybe even married to for some of you guys. But yeah, I see this as something that you're kind of analyzing now. At this point in time, you're analyzing it, um, this investment here uh, with the Seven of Pentacles. Some of you could have Saturn and Taurus. And I feel like it's really putting you in a rut because it's, you know, this is someone who really has gotten you out of character for a long time. Okay, so you've acted in ways that you're not proud of or you've seen yourself in ways that, you know, didn't make you feel so good, all right, because of the way that this person behaved with you, okay? And the Knight of Wands, it's an in and out energy. So, yeah, I definitely feel like you're dealing with a person who, or you have been dealing with a person um, who is very wishy-washy, very in and out of your life. Let's get a few more cards on this to see what else we're getting here for Taurus for the next unexpected change. <clears throat> Yeah, I see you guys moving on, maybe to a Cancer, all right, or an Aries, uh, but you have the Eight of Pentacles. I see somebody here who genuinely wants to commit, wants to put in the work. You've got the Two of Cups here, Venus and Cancer, a perfect match, and you have the Queen of Cups, somebody who's very emotionally nurturing, and I feel like you guys in the past, you were dealing with someone who, whether male or female, was just not very in touch with their feminine side. They just were not very emotional. They weren't very um, receptive to anything that you were trying to give them uh, or any kind of exchange you were trying to have uh, as far as energy goes, so yeah. I mean, I feel as if you've been dealing with someone who's pretty emotionally inaccessible. And uh, I feel like you're about to be getting into a connection with somebody who is the complete opposite. So I do see you moving on from this, whether you realize that or not. Because right now, I feel like this is someone that you're very stuck on, someone that you're very hurt over. Um, but yeah, I see you moving on. It looks like this could be some sometime in the summer months. But of course, it could happen faster uh, because, you know, the cards don't dictate things. It depends on your free will. If you choose to stay stuck on this person and chasing this person, then... You know, I don't know what to tell you here, but that's what I'm saying for the possibilities, at least. Um, so if you want something a little more tailored to your energy, I do have the personals open. Um, and you guys are more than welcome to check out your other signs or your other readings. I am going to link a reading down in the comment section. But if this is where we part, I want to thank you so much for watching and supporting me. And you all enjoy your week. Bye.